Well afternoon actually, um, just here in Manchester city centre <coughs> It is just almost, well it's just um, at almost 10 past 1 On Sunday the 14th of June now folks um, Just there at the cenotaph in Manchester city centre um, Well with Black Lives Matter and Antifa keep attacking the statues And saying to people to take them down and everything Well sorry that's part of history to remind us That that shit should never happen again and we're just here at the same time, folks, and so I say, but one of the beautiful, one of the most beautiful views ever is the Senate of here, folks. And if this offends any of you, this beautiful Senate of here to the fallen heroes who served, fought, and died for this country, some of them have never come home, are still lost in the, out in the battlefields of Europe and the world, folks. And if, and if this offends you, then get the fuck out of our country. Because my uncle served in the first Gulf War, folks. Our, our Royal Signals. Our Royal Fusilier Signals he was in. If this offends you, then fuck off out of our country, folks. It's simple. If you, I tell you, if you don't like it, then fuck off out of our country. Because they, this is part of, part of our history, part of our respect. Um, and they, I just find it a bit of a disgrace how they've got to put barriers around um, like yesterday there was over 150 ex-service personnel, British soldiers who, who have fought for the Queen and country who have come out yesterday to guard the cenotaph against Black Lives Matter and Antifa folks and I just find it a disgrace how British service people have got to come out to defend the monuments and statues and the cenotaph from vandals and graffiti and little immature children who need to grow the fuck up and get educated and realise and realise actually it was white people who saved the blacks it was black people who was uh, to, uh, to were enslaving black people not white people enslaving them it was the blacks who started it also it, Britain has just finished paying off the debt what it paid to slave is to end slavery and to free the black people it paid Britain paid to save the black people and you want to disgrace us like this and trash our statues and say that they're offensive well sorry they're our history if you don't like our history if you don't like our cenotaphs our war memorials and stuff then fuck off out of our country I'm going to live somewhere fucking else who will take you because we don't want you because this country is about peace and love and day we don't take it no more and it's just a disgrace of how this keeps happening it's gone from one extreme to another extreme and now it's not even about black lives or George Floyd it's just about it's just basically sheer racism with you you act like a bunch of Nazis you're doing what the Nazis did in, in 1914 taking over, destroying history, destroying people's lives, trying to be a dictatorship. Well, sorry, it ain't going to happen. So, and they folks, share the love. That's all I can say. That's all this world needs at the minute is love. And a lot of people need a big education and realise the truth. Because that day, a lot of them don't know the truth and are just uneducated little, little morons who go around terrorising people who think that they know everything and think that everyone owes them everything well sorry we don't owe you fuck all the only people we owe in this country is to the, is to the men and women who have served our queen and country to keep us free and my respect goes out to all those who have served the queen and country and especially to those who made the ultimate sacrifice with their life for the Queen and country. But anyway, share the love, more coming up people. Peace and love.
Well, folks, we're just down here at um, Manchester Cathedral. And here's another statue of Black Lives and Antifa want to remove Iskander statue. If it weren't for Gander, if it weren't for Gander, you wouldn't have Pakistan. And he uh, did a lot to change the country to make Pakistan for the Sikhs, for the Muslims and for the multi-race community in peace and love. So why would you want to remove a beautiful statue of Gandhi who's done so much and did so much peace work and everything to create a peaceful country and stuff? Why would you want to remove it? Just jokers with you. That's all you are, jokers. You want to remove a decent statue because you just don't, you just don't agree with what he did or what you think he did or said because you're uneducated there was no Pakistan years ago it was just India it was Gandhi who created Pakistan it was Gandhi who created peace between the Sikhs it's between the Sikhs and the Muslims and everything so that's where you need to learn your history and get a life instead of Destroyed all the statues of Britain because at the day you're just a joke. You say Black Lives Matter, but it's not about Black Lives Matter, you're just destroying history of a great, of, 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 of a once great country, of a great empire. You want to destroy my history of the face, your mass statues, because of great people. We have statues and remind us of the past that, that the past should never happen again or certain things in the past should never happen again and they you're just a disgrace and a joke and it really pisses me right off there are people who fought for this queen and country have scarred the cenotaph because of use lot who had a disgraceful joke and saying that you want a peaceful protest we'll do it correctly Because that day you've done nothing but war. There's nothing peaceful about you. So that day it's a disgrace. Just removing all the British statues of where they got to put fences around and you even attack Queen Elizabeth, uh, Queen Victoria statue in Manchester and in London. Uh, the monarch of the country. You, uh, you've even attacked that statue. The Queen who agrees with, and who allows you in this country as asylum seekers and stuff, and you attack that statue. Well, sorry, anyone who attacks, you, uh, to attacks British monuments and statues, never mind about this new law that they're considering 10 years in jail. If you attack a British monument, or especially a cenotaph, or a war memorial, you should be shot dead on sight. And that's my opinion. Free speech. And that's what I believe. You should be shot dead for it. Because that day, I say it's treason to the crown and to the country. And back in the day, for high treason, you used to get shot dead for it or hung. And they should do it. They should definitely bring it back because more people, there could be less people attacking British monuments and statues. It's a disgrace over you. Anyway, share the love. Just walk down Uber Street, Delivery Street, Deansgate. Um, so, yeah, share the love, folks. So, and keep positive. Well, hopefully, folks, this lockdown ends soon and then we can get back on it. Um, back exploring, travelling to new places and exploring places and keeping the education all going with uneducated people who know absolutely nothing about me think that they can comment and judge me on face value when they don't even know nothing about me right and just and your sighted people right well you tell me how a blind person is supposed to act because I guarantee that you only go off stereotyping of what the mainstream media portray what cartoons portray a blind person to be like 
about half a year, well actually over, even more than half a year, I've never even probably spoke to a blind person or even know a blind person or a visually impaired person. So, it just, uh, it just proves the point, doesn't it? You just like hating on people, so show the love. Be inquisitive, ask questions. If you, if and you see me when I'm out and about, come and speak to me. And I'm more than likely, and if, and I probably actually explain things to you and teach you about stuff and educate you and show you how stuff works and how I do stuff. But this is my hometown. This is where I was born and bred. So I know where things are around there. I used to work in this city centre. I used to work in this town. So and day, I know where things are. I know where everything is around there. And uh, and there, memorise everything. And I'm sorry to say, but if you can't memorise, then there's something up with you. I think you need to go and see a neurological specialist if you can't memorise stuff. Because, an or and also if you wonder what a neurological specialist is, it's a brain specialist. So, I think you need to go and learn and just stop hating. I'm just sick of the hate. If any, if any you don't like me or my content of what I portray in my videos, and simple, don't watch it, don't don't go bother going on my channel, fuck off. And to the 60% of you who are not subscribed to my channel, just click on that little subscribe button, cost you nothing. Just click on it and click on the bell, and then just uh, it will notify you when I upload. It helps me out a lot to grow my channel better. And then leave your comments below and be inquisitive. And share the love as always, as I keep saying, share, share, share the love. World peace, world love. No hatred. One love, one heart, one nation anyway. Peace and love from Blacksboro 2326. Peace and love. I did it my way. This is how we do it, folks. In the theatre of dreams. I did it my way. Go and follow me on Instagram and YouTube, folks. At Blacksboro 2326. Go and share, share, no peace and love, folks. One love, one heart, one nation. Peace out.